Hello everyone. Yes, it's time. It's time for some Mount and Blade Bannerlord. So, I played the original. Well, not the original. I never really played uh, Mount and Blade, the first one. But I played the hell out of the second one. Hundreds of hours in that game. And this one was just released uh, not too long ago. Maybe a day or two ago. And I couldn't wait to play. So... I'm going to do a series, uh, a let's play on this. I'm not sure how long I'm going to go, or how far this is going to go, or, or what, but I think we're going to go ahead and uh, do one. Now, I did play a little bit, just to get the feel of the game, uh, before I did this recording, um, just to see how things are, the bat, uh, combat a little bit, and just kind of get a feel for it. I played for maybe 30 minutes or so. So, I have a, I have a game, but we're not going to resume it. We're going to start a new one. Um, again, I didn't get very far, but let's go ahead and start one. Culture. Now, I don't know a whole lot about these, because um, they're all new. So, I think I started with Ladians last time. It gives me 20% more ex up upgrade XP to troops from battles. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, Sturgeons, descendants of the foreign tribes of northern Calvridia. As the Empire expanded into their cold fortress, they found... So, I don't know... Um, Northern, are they like the Nords? I'm not sure. 20% less speed penalty from snow. So snow so slows you down. we got the Empire. Uh, Calradian Empire is in decline. Um, today, those factions are in open war, yet Calradians endure. So this is part of the Empire, the, um, the ones that used to rule, but they're in decline. 20% construction speed bonus? Eh. Don't care about that. Uh, Asari? Inhabitants of the of the desert, the, the desert caravans are thirty percent cheaper to build. Um, Kuzates, confederation of steppe tribes, ten percent extra speed bonus for horsemen. That's kind of cool. And the Batanians, Batanians still remember the olden days when the woods stretched across the Calradia, across northern. I can't even read northern Calradia, and the empire and its cities had yet to violate their sanctity. So, I guess they're woods people. Forests give 10% less speed penalty. So, I I think I'm going to stick with the Valadian. Uh, descendants of adventurers from the west who lived under the empire for centuries before forming an independent kingdom. So, I like the 20% more ex upgrade XP to troops from battles. So, that's what we're going to do. And here's my dude. I don't know. I think I'm going to be male because female has its own challenges in this game. Um, I'm going to do this kind of quickly, I think. I'm not sure. Skin color. Ooh, what is that? Looks like he just jumped out of a fire pit. Let's do something like that, I guess. Eh. I don't know. Voice pitch. Let's hear the voice. Form a ring! Form a ring. Halt! Halt. Okay. And then we got different voices Backs here. Backs to each other! Oh, that sounded like European British. Knuckle formation! Back to back! Make a line! And that one's all... Ah! <laughs> okay, so there's three voice Let types. Them in line dance. formation! Line formation! So this would be good. What about pitch? What is... We're shot those bastards! Yeah. Form a line! Form a line! Or... Form a circle! Form a circle. Alright, so... Shield wall, now! I think I did this one. Form a circle! Stand fast! Wall, now! That sounds good. Height? So he could be like a shrimp. Or a giant. Uh, average height is fine. Don't matter. Face, uh... 
You know, and let's look at random. Let's randomize this. Because I don't really care. I'm just looking. I don't want to do all this stuff, I don't think. Let's, um, can you, yeah, you can turn. Eh, that looks fine, I guess. I don't know. Let's do, do skin type. I kind of like that one best. We could just go with that, I guess. I don't know. Eyes. Whoa. Eye position. Eye size. So you can really modify the, your character look a lot better than the previous one. Um, interesting. Look at that. It just modifies the height of the outer eye. Brow, middle, uh, outer, inner, and middle height. Interesting. Let's zoom out a little bit. Ooh, hey there. Anyway, um, let's go to... <clears throat> what is this, nose? Huh. Looks fine, except it looks huge. Um, nose width? Okay, what about nose height? Nose... Nose length? I think the length is fine. Yeah. Nose angle? What's this? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Nostril height, nose width, nose size. Is that the nose, like, height? And then that's just like huge nose or no. Okay, well that's fine. We'll just leave that. Um, but there's a lot of stuff here that you can adjust. Ooh, nose asymmetry. You can make it, let's see. If we can make his nose. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he got, he got punched as a kid. Look. Yeah, and that's broken. Or was broken. That looks okay. Um, teeth type. Oh my gosh. Show us your teeth. Oh my goodness. Show us them choppers. I guess that looks the most normal. Um, lip thickness, smile, frown. Interesting. So you can make them kind of smiley or frowny. Mouth position. What does that do? Oh, it raises and lowers it. Mouth width. So I can make him a big mouth if I want to. Okay. Um, ooh, okay, here we go. What kind of hair do we want? You know what I want? I want something like... <clears throat> if you've seen the show, has anybody seen the show? Um, even though this is like... Supposed to remind us of Conan, the barbarian. This, this, uh... Warband does, at least for me. Um, but I was... I've been watching a show recently called The Last Kingdom... And that character on there is really awesome. Um, Uhtred, son of Uhtred. Anyway, I thought I'd make someone that looks... I wish I could get his hair a little longer than that, but I think I like that hair there. Let's give him some fur. On his... I want like a... Not a goatee, but a... Not that. Um that. That looks good. That looks good, too. Hmm, which one? This one? I think that one. And markings? What is markings? Oh. Face paint. Or tattoos. Nice. Do they have scars, too? I think they do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I went... I didn't go through this real, uh, in the beginning. I just went with default or whatever and just went into the game just to see the gameplay a little bit. Um, we're not going to do any of that, though. I think this is good right here. This is the guy we want. Next. Ooh, choose your family. Yeah, I just zoomed through this, too. Um, hmm. Right, this provides the skill levels, the different skills. You can. This is how you choose your skills. I guess. And, and the whole skill system is a little different in this game. It's not quite as simplistic as in Warband. You have skills 
and focus points and um, you don't level up the same way as your troops. It's a little... Well, you kind of do, but it's a little different. Um, and then you have these other... Um, what are they? These are... Um, like, you have the whole list of uh, skills and warband. Um, these are kind of... Some of these are the same. I think there's some that are a little... Like, steward are different. Um, charm... I guess that's like... I think there was something like a warband for charm. Scouting tactics. Roguery, that's different. Smithing. They didn't have smithing, I don't think. Anyway, so what I want to do, what I want to be good at. I think um, one-handed weapons, bows definitely. Writing, probably athletics. Um, the rest of it will come, I guess. I don't know. Um, I can get, hopefully I can get... Um, um, companions that can fill in some of this stuff here. So this gives me writing and pole arm. I've never been a big fan of pole arms. Um, trade and charm. Pole arm and crossbow. I kind of like bows better than crossbows. Smithing and two handed. Um, scouting and crossbow. Is there anything that I'm going to use? Rubbery and crossbow. Is there anything? Writing and pole arm. Maybe I'm going to have to take pole arm, I guess. Trade and charm. Pole arm and crossbow. Smithing and two-handed. I could do that, I guess. I don't know. I don't see anything for bow and one-handed. Scouting and crossbow and one point to cunning. What does Cunning do? If I can find it. Hmm. It must be... something else that I'm missing. Well, I'm learning as I'm going. Um, I don't know that much about this game. I'm just, I know a little bit. but So this is going to be a lot of learning as I go. But I'm excited for it. Um, roguery and crossbow. I guess I'll do um, smithing, because I know that you can do... You can make your own weapons in this game, which is kind of cool. I have never seen it, done it, or I haven't seen it done. But I've heard about it. Um, I... I Pole arm and crossbow. Trade and charm. What is... The ability to make a person like and trust you. Okay. That might be useful. Trade. Trade. Familiarity with the most common goods in the marketplace and their prices. Spot defective goods. Hmm. How useful would that be in this game? I'm spending too much time on this. Um, you know what? <clears throat> I need to use the pole arm at some point in this game. So I'll do a barren retainer. Um, writing in pole arm. And then my childhood. Um, this gives me leadership skills. Leadership and tactics. Two-handed and throwing. Athletics and one-handed. That might be good. Uh, engineering and trade. Charm and Leadership. Actually, I'm going to go with Charm and Leadership. I need Leadership higher. It gives me... I think if it's anything like the old uh, Warband, um, the higher my Leadership, the more troops I can have. So we're going to go with this. Okay. Choose your Adolescence. I herded sheep. Athletics and Throwing. You need throwing for herding sheep. Uh, Two-handed and smithing. That's worked in the village smith. Repaired projects. Smithing and engineering. Medicine and scouting. Oh, here we go. Bow and tactics. I'll take that. I hunted small game as a kid. Alright, as a youth... Let's see. Steward and tactics. Riding and polearm. 
crossbow, riding and bow. I like that. I rode with the scouts. This is polearm and one-handed. That might come in handy too. But I like this because it gives me riding and bow. So I rode with the scouts. All right, my young adulthood. What did I do? This is one-handed and two-handed and vigor. What does vigor do? I think vigor... I don't think that's a skill. That's just a like a... Um, it's a trait or whatever they call them. I'm not sure. Um, one-handed and two-handed. Um, tactics and leadership again. Trade and smithing. Bow and crossbow. Athletics and roguery. Charm and steward. Hmm. I think this might be best. One-handed and two-handed. I defeated an enemy in battle. Or I... Tactics and... Or I went on a... I led a successful manhunt. See, I already have leadership here. I have two bow. I need something with... Uh, one-handed. I need something with a sword. This gives me both. One-handed and two-handed. I'm going to do that. Choose your story background. Like many families in Calradia, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and your two younger siblings into a new town. But you did not make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain and your two younger siblings seized. Oh, boy. Okay. But you and your brother survived because... What did we do? Uh, so I had a little bit of a pause there in the game. I'm not sure if that's just because the game is in early access or what's going on. Um, so we subdued a raider. Uh, this would give us a point to one-handed and athletics. Bow and tactics. Riding and scouting. Scouting, scouting. Does that give you, like... Knowledge of how to scan the wilderness for life. You can follow tracks. Spot an enemy across the valley from a flash. Okay, but what gives you better, like, movement map speed? Hmm. I don't know. Rogue and tactics. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with combat abilities. One-handed and athletics. It's going to be two and one-handed <clears throat> and athletics. I do need something in athletics, so I'm going to go with that. I subdued a raider. Yeah, I already have two in bow, so we're going to do this. All right. So, you prepared us off with your brother on a mission of vengeance and rescue. Here's your character. All right, I need to name him. Dalliger? Eh. Um... Dirk Diggler? I don't know. <laughs> um, hmm. I hadn't thought of this. I don't know. Um, I don't want to do something like, I don't know, everybody else would do, like Conan or something. Um, 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 let me think about this for, for a sec. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going with Axton. Axton sounds good. Um, it's just some name that just came to me. So um, we're gonna go with that. And um, very easy, let's go with this. Let's go with easy, because I don't know exactly how. I guess I could do realistic, um, but sometimes, um, yeah, I don't know what to expect. Doesn't really give me a... Let's see. Receive damage ratio to your troops. Receive damage ratio to your allies that are not under your command. Eh, I don't care about that. Receive damage. This is damage to me. Okay. Let's just do easy, 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 easy. Recruitment difficulty... Um, we'll make that, we'll make it everything just easy, instead of realistic. Map movement speed. Uh, this. 
An evil death of who? Oh, heroes? Nah. Not of allocate. Yeah, let's all let's let them do the manage their own perks. I tried that once, a couple times in Warband. It just I it, after a while, it's like okay, you do whatever you want to do. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start. All right, what is this, brother? It's been three days now. We've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Varric and Alda? Are we up for a fight? Is that my brother? Jeez. This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush off our skills. Brush off our skills? The practice could come up useful. Um, now I skipped this last because, again, I just wanted to see what the game looked like. Um, I didn't really do much fighting, so... Uh, I think... Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Do the tutorial. So, yeah, movement. I can move. Mm-hmm. Let's dance. Anyway, um, there's three areas here, it looks like. Combat, I'm assuming. Writing. Uh, what is this? Choose a weapon. Let's go to the combat area first, I guess. Well, those guys are really getting onto it. Alright, let's go with... Is there a sword here? That looks like a sword and shield. This is... Oh, that's a two-handed. That's sword and shield, I guess. Go to trainer. Hello, trainer. Defend from left. Okay, so... Oh, so I, didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I, I just want to attack all the time, right? Okay, defend from left. That's defend from right. That's defend from left. Defend from left. Yeah. Die! Defend up. Defend down. Okay. Attack from left. Got it. It's just like the last game looks like. Yep, yep. Sword tutorial. Well, that was pretty much the same as last time. You just... That's the right swing. Left. Up. Up. Oh, that's down. Up. There we go. The sword's pretty quick. Okay, now what? Choose another weapon and go, or go to another training area. Well, I don't really want the two-hander. Let's go in here, I guess. Choose a weapon to begin training. Mm. Oh, that's a... That's okay. Let's go with the sword and shield again. That's my typical... Training stuff. What are we doing? Oh, we're fighting. Okay. Whoops. Gotcha. Whoop, missed ya. Missed me. Oh, he got me. Take that. Take that. Take that. <laughs> Dang it. Ah. I need to start walking. I'll cut you down. Will you now? Well, you might. Dang it. This guy's fast. This guy's fast. There we go. You've successfully beat, beaten rookie tra as a rookie trainer? Okay. Go to the veteran trainer. Alright. Um, boy, he looks mean. He's got a two-hander, though, so... I don't know. Hello. Three seconds. I think I'll put up my... Gosh. Nope, nope. This guy's... I'll beat him with speed. No! 
guy first. There we go. Successfully finished training, so what do I do now? Do I just leave now? How do I leave? Uh, I guess I go out this way. Well, those guys are really going at it. Okay, let's do some horsey training. Choose a weapon to begin training. Hmm, a bow. Definitely a bow. Mount the horse. Okay. Finish the track and hit as many targets as you can. Okay, no problem. Faster horse. Whoops. Mm. Dang it. I didn't want to miss any. that one. Ooh. So we got, uh, Successfully finished the track in 80 seconds, and I missed one, I think. Do I want to do that again with, like, um, spear or sword? How about a sword? Where's a sword here? Here we go. Oops. <laughs> I forgot. Eat kicks. Can I kick the horse? <laughs> Oops. Come here, horse. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's go um, get some things with the sword. I I don't know. I missed. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? Look, my my sword went right through it. And again. And again. That's weird. Am I? Is it just not long enough? Or am I just that bad? Well, this is ridiculous. Here, let me slow down. Okay, maybe I'm going out too fast, too far in front. I'm swinging too late. Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, well. I'll get the hang of this. That should have hit. Uh, that was too far out in front. That should have hit. Oop. Well, that was terrible. I need some practice there. I missed 14. Dang. Okay, I wasn't um, I wasn't that bad in in the original in in, ban in Warband. So maybe they made it a little more difficult, or maybe I'm just terrible. I haven't played in a long time. So I guess going through this practice is a good thing. What do we do here? Oh, this is target practice. Okay, let's get us a bow. And get up here and do some shooting. Hit all the targets. Okay. Thank you. 
Excellent. 26 seconds. Okay, I think I got that down. Maybe I can rely on my bow skills. Alright, I think we're done. Uh, are you ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. Enter a train. No, I don't want to do that. I want to... There we go. So the loading screens could use a little work. Okay, let's leave. Travel to village Tevia. Before we do anything else, we're low on food. There's a village north of here. We can buy provisions and find some help. You're a better writer, writer than I am, so uh, you lead the way. Okay, so I need to go to Tevia. We're still in the tutorial, I guess. Um, do I want to do more tutorial? Uh, I think I got the hang of this. Uh, hmm. So enter the settlement, explore the location. You can enter the settlement by pressing the highlighted button on the left. Take a walk around. I guess we'll finish the tutorial for this one. Well, at least until... We're here, I guess. So we need food. After that, maybe some men to come with us. The headman here can probably help us. Let's find him. You can hold left alt key and see the location of the headman, really. Oh. Well, that's an improvement over the original, or Warband. In Warband, you'd have to, like, search everywhere. There was no help at all. You'd just have to look for him. This is better. Let's talk to the headman. I am Nortos, headman of this village. What brings you here? We need help. Some raiders have taken our younger brother and sister captive. We think they may have passed this way. They got your people too? Sorry to hear that. Those bastards have done a bit of killing and looting in these parts as well. Uh, we think they've gone north. I reckon there are a few folk here who will join you in going after them if you pay them their, and their gear. Once you've made your preparations, come and talk to me. He has a task for me. Okay. So, let's see. Um, where? Okay. To leave a mission, you can hold down the tab. Oh, this is like leaving the village. Okay. Got it. So... Okay, I'm supposed to recruit troops. And this is my character inventory. What do I got in my inventory? <clears throat> Nothing, just a bow, arrows, a spiked mace, a leather tunic, some boots. Oh, I got a horse at least. Okay. And my character. So here are the skills. And these are the... I don't know what to call these things. Um... Like skill areas, I guess. Vigor, uh, control, endurance, uh, uh, social in intelligence, and what is this? Cunning, I think. Yeah, okay, cunning. Cunning. So these are my skill levels in intelligence, social, cunning. So I have four in vigor, four in social. Okay, now I know a little bit about this, kind of. I have... Attribute points. Now, are these attributes, I think? Ah, uh, these are attributes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think when you get attribute points, attribute points, you apply them here. And this is focus points. Now, from what I know about this, increasing your learning limit. Okay. So, here's our skill level in each one of these. Right now it's 25 and one-handed. Um, and these are the different skills you can get as you progress with your skill level in them. This is your learning limit, from what I understand. 
you can't learn these unless you increase your learning limit. You increase your learning limit by applying focus points, I think. I think that's how it goes. Um, so I can pick right now a one-handed skill, a bow skill, a writing skill, it looks like. Okay. Um, and then to increase the skill level, this is how you do it. Fight with a one-handed short weapon. Well, that makes sense. Bow. Shoot enemies with a bow. That makes sense. Writing right on the map as much as possible. As much speed as possible. Okay. Well, that that would that's easy to increase during battles. Just right around. Um, fighting on horseback, gaining speed bonus. Okay, so let's do one-handed. Edge placement. This gives me damage by 4%. Extra hit points. Why would they put that in a one-handed skill? Well, I'm going to take the hit points. Because um, you kind of need hit points. Um, I don't know what my hit points are, but you can always use more. So I'm going to take that. Bow. Okay, I only got one choice here. So we'll take accuracy increased by 10%. And... Vigorous, six plus six percent to horse hit points. Okay, we'll take that. So as we level up, I think let's see, total skill points. Next level at five. Gain a total of five skill points to level up this character. So your level goes up. I think when your level goes up, you get skill points. I'm not sure exactly how this goes. We'll revisit it later when we have actual points to apply. Yes. So we have purchase grain, recruit troops, and then we got to go back and talk to the headman. Let's do that. So recruit troops. Oh, this is cool. Hold on a sec. So this takes you to I'm assuming the market. We'll get there in a sec. Let's recruit some troops. Headman's troop. So do I recruit them all? Okay, nobles help you recruit more and better troops. According to relation to them. So this guy right here. Better relation. I got a relation of 100. Better relation. I get better troops. Let's recruit all these guys. That takes 300 of my 1,000. Okay, but I need, don't I need supplies? Grain. How much grain should I buy? Two sacks of grain. Okay. And now I gotta talk. Okay. Brother, we have finished our preparations. Let's talk to the headman again. Sure. Leave. So a lot of this is like war bands. Uh, the city menu here is kind of like it. You can walk around. Take hostile action, like in Warband. Recruit troops, buy products, wait here, leave. So it's a lot like it. Um, oh, wait, he's in here. <laughs> Let's talk to this guy. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is different. I don't have to take a walk around. I could just... I could just go to the headman up here and say, talk. And then I guess it takes me... Yeah, it takes me right to him. Glad to see you found what you needed. Now, about that matter, there's this wandering doctor who comes through from time to time, name of Takteos. Treats people for free. Well, last we saw a few days ago, he was carrying some sort of chest. He has a very mysterious... which he was very mysterious about. He was on some sort of quest. He set off on the road just a few hours before the raiders came through. He's not really a worldly type. Do they take him? We're worried about him. Quest, I didn't see that. If you can keep... Okay. If you can keep an eye out for him, we'd be grateful. Okay. So, let's look at the quest log. Let's leave the settlement again. And... Quest log. Locate rescue traveler. Look around the village to find the party that captured the traveler. So we got to defeat three parties. Oh, here they are, right here. 
I can tell by the little exclamation, I, I'm guessing. So let's go get these raiders, I guess. Let's leave. Go whack these raiders. So how do you... Okay, so it's 8 against 6. And we attack, I guess. Ooh, we're all on horses? Cool. Where are these dudes? Tell your men to charge by opening the movement orders with F1. Do I have to charge? Oh, here they come. You guys ready? So this menu is... Ooh, this menu is a lot like... At them! Let's go get them. Ah, my arrows are not doing a whole lot with this guy. He's throwing rocks at me? Seriously? I'm gonna miss... Ah, I missed him. He's hitting my horse. Oops, too late. I'm gonna kill this guy. I missed him again. Damn, that mace has a short... You know what? Forget it. That mace has a short... There you go. Did you like that? Okay. Where are the other raiders? I gotta get used to the um, the swords and all that first. Where'd they go? Do we have a map? Do we have like a tactical map? Where'd they go? Are they over here? Ah, oh, here he is. Dang it. He keeps moving. Never mind. <laughs> Battle one. Okay. I'm, I'm just still getting used to this. Okay, what is this? Remaining eight. This is kills. I got one. I did, did I kill? Oh, yeah, I did kill one. And this is deaths, upgrades. That means, I guess, a promotion. Nice. Nice. So I can loot all this stuff. And we gotta go after these guys now. Alright, I'll get better at the combat. Um, it's just, one, I haven't played in a while. Two, this is a little different and maybe a bit more complex. Maybe requiring a little bit more practice and skill. So let's go find these guys. I'm gonna try my um I know I'm good at the bow. I'm gonna try this. This thing is so short though. Alright, let's charge! let's charge. Oh, I don't have a shield. Crap. Maybe I should just get off my horse and... Oh, I got one! Okay. Where are they? There's one. Ah! Well, I can't do that too much more because my health is going down. So let's just do some... some boat. Where are they? And he's down. Okay. Wow. Um. I gotta say, a couple things. Um. The graphics are much better than Warband. They're awesome. The the battlefield graphics and the horse handling. It's it's harder. It's it's not as easy to handle a horse. Plus, look at oh that's so cool. It doesn't turn as quickly. Or maybe it's just the horse. I don't know. But 
I'm digging this. This is really nice. The day is ours. We gain 0.7 renown. Okay. What is this? Rescue and taking prisoners. After a hard-fought battle, you may have to choice to take some prisoners. Yeah, I know that. Let's take a prisoner. So, it kind of paused on me again. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't even know if that's my computer or not. It may be... Salute all that. Go after them. Hey, they stopped. And this is the fast forward button. Let's go ahead and get this done with. Alright, let's go ahead and charge. Attack! Attack! Dang, I'm off. Ooh, barely missed him. How do I keep missing? This is not easy. There you go. That was it. Take him and take all their loot. And okay, you rescue several prisoners. They look parched and exhausted. You give them a bit of water and bread, and after a short while, they come over to us. I don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. These brigands would have marched us to our deaths. My name is. Ah, this is the guy we're looking for. Tacteos. I'm a doctor by trade. I was on, well, a bit of a quest, but now I'm thinking I'm not really made for this kind of thing, you think? I was with a caravan, and they just came out of the brush. We were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive, if just for the ransom, but then they started flogging us along at top speed. <laughs> flogging us at top speed, without any water, and I was just about ready to drop. All right. So we're looking for two children. I'm afraid I haven't seen any children, but after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they called Radagos, took and rode off with more valuable belongings, okay, including his chest. He seemed to be controlling more than one band raiding around this area. And since I have nothing of value left to repay you, I'll tell you this. If you do catch up with and defeat that ruffian, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament. Okay. I was trying to find out more about it. Right now, I don't think I'd venture more than 20 paces. Okay. Doesn't look like much... Ah, there's a lot of dialogue here. It doesn't look like there's much, and I suspect this lot would give it away for a few coins, but I got it from a mercenary who I treated once and swore it was related to... Neretzi's Neret, Neret, folly? I don't know what that means, except that Neretzis was, of course, the emperor who died in battle some years back. Thanks again. Okay. So now what? Find the hideout of Radagos gang and defeat them. Okay. Is that it there? Gee, the big sign gave it away. Okay. Hold on. There are... Oh, good. The... the Spacebar works just like in the last game. There are five mountain bands. Wow, they were outnumbered. 13 to 6 or whatever. Hopefully they're not that tough. So if, if this is anything like, yeah, we're attacking on the... On, 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 not on horseback. So let's go get them. The best way to handle uh, these is to just charge in. Oh, I love the music. This is great. Do I have a... Yeah, I have a weapon. I'm going to use my bow, though. Got him. Oh, 
I think they can handle that guy. I'm looking for the next one. Dudes, come on. Probably up this way. Ah. Where are the others? Okay, they're following me, I guess. No, they're probably over here. No, they're going this way. Next. Oh, was that it? This must be, um, the bad guy. Yeah, Radigo. So, who's this that comes through my place of business killing my empl your employees? We heard you took our little brother and sister. Where are they? Good heaven. I need a better description than that. My men have harvested dozens of little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Already sent most of them south to a slave market. Since you hunt for your kin, it's fruitless. How about you clear off and save our own lives? Save your own lives. Either that, or I force you to lick up all the blood you spill here with your tongues. Or you and I could settle this one-on-one. -on -one. Are you kidding me? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> Dang, these guys are brutal. I didn't even have a chance. I didn't have a chance to get in there. Well, I gotta level up for some reason. Yeah. Well, I recognize defeat when I see it. If I'm going to be your captive, then let me introduce myself. I'm Radagos. I already know that. You haven't cut my throat yet, which was a wise move. I'm sure I can find a way to be worth more to you alive than dead. You better help us get our brother and sister back. Oh, you need my help after all. Or, all right. You need my help, all right. See, I'm trying to write the lines myself. If you want to get them back, alive, that is. See, my boys have some pretty specific instructions about what to do if there's a rescue attempt. Oh, yeah? Shall we get on the road? Remember, if I drop dead of exhaustion or drown in some river, that's it for your little dears. I don't expect a cozy palanquin now, but you'd best not make it too hard to a trip for me. So let's take them. What do we got? We got two raiders here. They're prisoners. How do I see? Do I right? Oh, right click. Okay. Okay, so one handed 40, two handed 20, pull arm 30, bow. Okay. So he's kind of a low level troop. Kind of like me. <laughs> you come across a chest with an old piece of bronze in it, so battered and corroded that it could have been anything from a cup. To a crown. Must be the chest Tacteos mentioned. Okay. I was hoping to find more treasure here, but I think business wasn't going too well for Radagos and his gang. I found this strange looking metal piece, though. It doesn't look too valuable, but it could be the artifact Tacteos was talking about. Maybe we can sell it to one of the noble clans for a hefty price. Alright then, let's get on the road. I have a better idea. We would have a better chance if we split up now. Okay. I'll take Radagos and go find the slaver market and look for a way to free the children. However, we must be careful not to endanger their lives and it could be better f and it could be better to just buy them. We need to have our purses full for that though. I need to take these men with us. Radagos is a slippery one. I don't want him getting away. So he's leaving with all the men. And Radagos, he's probably going to leave me by myself, alone. So you want me to raise the money to ransom the little ones? <clears throat> Indeed, you'll have to find a way to do that. Maybe this bronze thing can help. 
Tactanicos said it could be worth a fortune in the right to the right person if you manage not to get killed. If he's telling the truth, you must be careful. Never reveal that you have it, but try to understand its value. Okay. One more thing. When you are talking to nobles and other people of importance, make sure you present yourself as someone from a distant but distinguished family. My family name. What is my family name? Hmm. Hmm. I hadn't thought of this either. Um, Axton. Axton. Uh, I have no idea. Let me. I'm gonna think about this too. Be right back. So I'm gonna go with. This just occurred to me. Dane. Axton Dane. That sounds good. Plus, I'm kind of a Viking at heart anyway. Oh, I get to choose my banner. Okay. How about... And I know this episode's going a little long, but... That's okay. It's the first episode. I'm looking for a horse archer. There's one right there. Because that's like what I do. That looks too plain. I like the horse archer. and That's... Yeah, I think I'm going to pick that. Where was it again? Right there. That's about the right size. What color do I want? Red? Ooh. Red and kind of a gold color? Or do I want the... No, I want green. Blue. Black. I like red and gold. There we go. Get on the road now. Once I locate the little ones, I'll come find you. I have a feeling I'm not going to see him for a while. Okay. Uh... Tutorial's over. You are now free to explore Calridia. Good. So, yep, I'm by myself. I knew it. Okay, so let's go to probably a large town. What's the closest one? this one or this one well I don't want to be jumped by bandits I don't think I will typically in a party of one you're pretty fast what's my speed what's my riding speed 5.7 could be better I could be caught by um, horse bandits though because my riding speed isn't that great So I just want to get to a city, and then we'll call it a, a day. All right, we're here. Um, let's. What kind of troops they got to recruit? None. Well, that sucks. No troops to recruit. Oh, there's the smithy. I heard about this. So it looks like yeah, you can. You can make one-handed, two-handed swords. Daggers. You can only make certain kinds, though, it looks like. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, yeah, that these are unlocked later when you get more talent. Okay. Let's leave. I just wanted to see that real quick. All right. Well, we'll leave it here. And when we come back, we will recruit some troops, uh, get some food, and go raiding. So thanks for joining me. I uh, hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.